It's time for system test three. The system test is request system test. That means all of you guys got to pick all the devices that will be shown in this system via Google Forms. Let's get started. So in total, I had 144 people fill out the Google Form that I made. I had many people request names for the LCD, but Be A Safe Man was first. So there it is. For Pulse Station 1, I had 46 people request the CPG MMPS, and here it is. I'm not surprised so many people requested this Pulse Station, because personally I've not seen this in a building, and this Pulse Station is not very common at all, so I'm sure a lot of people want to learn more about it. For Pulse Station 2, we had 43 people request the Firelight BG12SL. I think this pulse station was the second most requested because, again, this is not really a common pulse station, and I'm sure a lot of people want to see more of it. So, there it is. For the first alarm on the system, we had 45 people request the system sensor low frequency sounder, and there it is. For the second alarm on the system, we had 44 people request the Simplex 2901-9838 on the strobe plate, and here it is. You also might notice, hey, what's that doing there? Well, this will be demonstrated in the next system test, so look forward to that. I also very much like the way these two look together, so in the next system test, I'll have to put um, another system sensor spectral alert of some kind that's in white to go along with these, so that'll be cool. In the additional requests part on the Google Forms, I also had someone request me use the enunciator of the full system test and not use the panel. So. That's what we were going to be doing. Alright, so today we're going to go ahead and start with the BG12 SL. It pulls exactly how you think, just straight down. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. this pole station. This pole station I think is actually kind of cool but I really wouldn't recommend it be installed in a building because when I went around to everyone in my family and told them to pull it they couldn't figure out what to do whether with this uh, plastic piece here. They didn't know if you like pulled it down or pushed it somehow they, they couldn't figure it out. But for demonstration and enthusiast purposes I think this pole station is pretty cool. <laughs> so to pull it you uh, pull on this little plastic piece right here and then you just pull it straight down. So, I am ready, and here we go. Three, two, one. silenced, we can go ahead and reset the pulse station, stick the key in, turn it, open it, and all you have to do is close it. When you do close it, the switch automatically goes back up, which is kind of nice. So now let's go ahead and reset this pulse station. The key to reset this pulse station says wind on it, which is pretty interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and reset this. So to reset this pulse station, you see up here at the top, it says you turn it that way to reset it, or turn that way to open it. If you turn it this way, or first let's reset it. So stick the key in, and we're going to turn it that way, which is left. So, And once we turn it that way, it just pops back up, and you can go ahead and close that, the little plastic thing. If we turn it the other way, it opens up the entire pole station, and you can uh, get into where you wire everything up. So now that the pulse stations are reset, we can go ahead and give the system a reset. But first, something I want to show you is uh, when you use the arrows, you can see which devices have been activated. So for instance, zone two, there's zone one, and those were the two pulse stations that activated. If you scroll even more, it will show you that there was a silence in the system, and then it goes on to show you which NACs are silenced and all, or have audible silence, basically. So. Yeah, now we can go ahead and give the system a reset.
Down here is the duct detector I have on the system. I am planning on testing the duct detector a little more by testing it with the test button on the unit and by smoking it out in future tests. But for this test, we'll go ahead and activate it through the key switch. Here we go. All right, enough has been said. Let's go ahead and test this. So we're gonna go ahead and stick the key in here and turn it to test. Now we're going to go ahead and reset the duct detector and it uh, just gets reset just by turning the, turning the key. And we can go ahead and reset the entire system since the duct detector has been reset. Alright guys, and that was the request system test 3. So thank you for everyone who participated in the requests um, via Google Forms. That was pretty cool. I'll maybe do this again in 5 to 10 system tests. I'm not sure when. I would also like to say that a lot of people have been wanting me to show or get or test a voice evacuation system. And because of all the requests and because it's something I also want to do, I am starting to put together and build a voice evacuation system. I'm not going to make it a surprise, because if it wasn't a surprise, you'd have nothing to look forward to. <laughs> so, there is the entire system, and thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.